Welcome back to Entercon Labs. Today's episode isn't just about hitting targets, it's about understanding energy transfer. When our throwing axes collide with the junction box, kinetic energy is transferred at the point of impact. This energy must go somewhere. It's either absorbed, dispersed, or causes the material to deform or break. Join us as we explore the physics that drive our axes to their target and witness the resilience of a light commercial junction box firsthand. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Intercot Labs. I'm John, and right now we're in the shop, right in front of our water jet. So we come from uh, sheet metal on the water jet right now, about a quarter inch. And you know what kind of uh, comes from water jet? <laughs> axes. We didn't actually make this, but today's episode, we're going to be testing them out. And we're going to test them out at some uh, light duty enclosures. Check out more in the episode. So in today's episode, we're going to be doing a little bit more than just our normal scientific study. We're actually going to be doing a competition. That's right. We're taking our love of competition and we're combining it with the physics of axe throwing and the resilience of our plastic junction boxes. So as we get into this, we're gonna have different point systems in here for uh, the different tasks at hand. So we're gonna look at, uh, one, who can pop the most balloons. Uh, we're gonna get two sessions on that, a point for each balloon. Then we're also gonna try to knock off uh, a water bottle. So who could hit the water bottle first? They will get uh, five points. And then uh, to finalize the whole thing, uh, we're gonna hit our, our uh, junction box and see if we can put an X through it. That person that gets it done first is gonna get 10 points and will be the winner. Which will you be? Let's take a moment to appreciate the physics of axe throwing as our hosts prepare. The key is rotational motion. When an axe is thrown, it spins through the air, its path determined by the force of the throw and its design. The goal is for the axe to complete a rotation at just the right moment, aligning the blade edge with the target upon impact. This precision is all thanks to angular momentum, the physical quantity that keeps the axe spinning steadily around its center of mass until it meets its mark. So the first challenge is going to be the balloon challenge. Each balloon is worth one point. We're going to get two, uh, two rounds to see who can knock out the most balloons. Smith the West is not working out for us today. You suck it backwards? <laughs> Did you see that one? Our final results of the first round uh, totally went to Anthony here. So I completely sucked on that. And I don't even know if I blew uh, one of the uh, blew up one of the balloons. But Anthony's up uh, I think it's like five to zero. So I gotta do a quick comeback here. Um, so we'll see how that works out. Hey everybody, we're back for round two. In this round we're gonna take our turn and throw in the axes at these cans. Then the first one to get it gets five points. Shut up. When the axe meets the can, several things can happen in a fraction of a second. The throw's momentum, its mass and velocity, transfers energy to the can, determining whether it dents or bursts. The impact angle decides the damage's extent, and the throw's speed amps up the kinetic energy, leading to more dramatic effects. The can's response whether a dent or shatter, hinges on the material's ability to absorb and redistribute this energy. All right, so our final challenge is the junction box. 
And since I'm getting decimated, uh, this will be really important. I think it's like uh, 10 to zero. So I could make up for it 10 points. Uh, if we hit it, uh, then we'll tie, which I feel really good about myself then. Uh, but let's talk about the junction box and that be. So the junction box is really a work site on the Sun Hero. Um, it was light construction, uh, holds things that are more, uh, you know, could be like uh, on-off switches, uh, smaller components, but really it keeps out dust, uh, moisture, and uh, other things. So this is going to be about impact resistance to see how we, uh, if it's going to get damaged from our axis. Upon impact, the axis momentum imparts energy that jostles the atoms within the box's polymers, potentially stretching them past their elastic limit, where they can't return to their original state. This interaction between the axis energy and the box's atomic structure dictates whether we see a dent or a rupture, illustrating the material's ability to absorb and redistribute energy at the microscopic level. Well, here's the deal. I think I won on this one because I hit it twice. Um, both actually hit uh, dead on in some solid areas. But this enclosure actually took the axe quite well. Uh, all it really did was uh, small cracks on the side, and I don't even know if it went all the way through. Just barely went through on uh, the top. So this really took an impact well. Those are two direct hits. Um, so I'm gonna take the win overall, just because I think it, I deserve it. And uh, I think this, this junction box actually took the win uh, as it really held up to our exploring challenge. Thank you for watching this episode of Entercon Labs. Stay tuned for more tests and remember, for the best custom control panel manufacturing, choose Entercon.